Hey girl, I'm back with another wash and go video and this time we're going to be using the Eco Yellow which is the Eco for color treated hair. It looks like this, it comes in this packaging. It's yellow with the red writing and it is for colored hair. It's a max 10 hold and you know, adds moisture, chemical protection, no flake, no tack, anti-itch, UV protection, blah blah blah. All the stuff we already know about Eco. So, this is the gel that I'm going to be using for this wash and go. I did pair it with the Shea Moisture Low Porosity Protein Free Detangling, you know, leave-in, whatever. So they combined well. I'm going to do my wash and go. So we're going to get started. What I like about this leave-in is it's um, a clear kind of creamy base thing. Well, it's a clear kind of creamy base consistency. So I feel like it's not going to leave white. So I can really let it air dry without like fear of it, you know, looking white. I mean, because I'll go out in public while my hair is air drying with no shame. But it is nice to have my hair not look white while I'm doing it. So that is one plus about this particular combination and I am doing the shingling method but I'm not taking tiny sections I'm taking larger sections because I don't have time to be doing tiny sections with my hair I am fine strands but I have high density so I have a lot of strands per square inch and sometimes I just don't feel like doing the most You know, my wash and go series is about the gel, but this leave-in, this Shea Moisture Low Porosity Protein Free Leave-In Detangler is really good. I can see kind of the definition popping through. Ooh. And it has a thick kind of greasy feeling to it and you know your girl likes greasy uh, products well in my past life you know my relaxed life I loved mineral oil petroleum jelly based products so this is bringing back some nostalgic feelings for me so I really like this detangler
Hey girl, so this is my third day hair. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? I have volume, I have definition, everything that I want in a wash and go, I have. So this is what my third day hair looks like. I um, didn't get back to you the second or first day after my hair had dried because I ended up getting really sick over the weekend and I literally did not, you know, do my typical, like make sure I wrap my hair properly and do all the things I would do to preserve my wash and go. I was like, nope, I'm just taking care of myself. Whatever happens to my hair, I'll deal with later. But right now, my health is my priority. I need to make sure I catch up on my sleep. I need to be, you know, making sure I rejuvenate my body and get myself back into health. And let me tell you, every morning when I woke up and I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh, my hair still looks cute. I mean, I feel like crap, but my hair still looks cute. So this wash and go, like, this wash and go even with not being treated the best and preserved the way i would typically preserve my wash and go is banging man look at this like i just slept on cotton i did i slept on cotton i was like i slept for almost a full 24 hours and I was not sleeping peacefully. I don't sleep like an angel. I sleep like a demon child, like all over the place, moving everywhere. And my hair held up. This wash and go held up. Now when I hear a max 10 hold, this is what I'm talking about. I need that type of quality hold in a max 10. Not no, oh, you look good for a day, but then the next day, like you just gone and poof, all my hold is like nowhere to be seen no this is a max 10 hold this hair for third day hair that i didn't take care of it looks so good and i'm so happy like of course i do have some areas where it did get a little bit frizzy because like i said i didn't preserve it properly but overall i am so happy with the way my hair looks i feel like the gel did its job. It held my coils and kinks in the right spot. It made sure that my hair was gonna look good the next day, regardless of if I did my part. <laughs> so, as you can see, um, I really do, I like this gel. This gel is for color treated hair. I don't have color treated hair. But like I'm going through the process of using all the eco styles, so I had to use this one. I had no expectations. I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't think I'd dislike it. I was just gonna use it because it was in the sequence of gels that I was going through. But I love it. I love it. But yes. I don't even remember where my part was. Like that's how long it did I do. I think I did a part on the right. Okay, so this is what my wash and go dreams are made of. This is it. Third day hair, still looks bomb. I haven't even had to refresh and I haven't preserved it. This is just like how it came out raw. Like this is my raw, uncut, unfiltered third day hair. And I'm obsessed with it. Like more than the hair where I was meticulous and I did my nighttime routine and I did this and I did that and no. This is what I love. Like volume, hold, and it's not even a hard hold. Like there's not a crunch, but there's like, oh, I just, I love it. I'm just so happy that I did this. And you know, I think people have been sleeping on this color for color treated eco style gel because I don't see it that often. Like when people list their top gels, they usually list the argan oil, the olive oil, and the black Jamaican castor oil, but they never really like mention this one. So I feel like people are sleeping on it, but let's wake up, okay? I'm gonna need y'all to try this one because it's like the real deal. 
anyways i hope you like this video please comment like and subscribe to me i'd love to have you as part of my family and you can look me up on instagram at xo underscore rocky i'd love to chat with you there you can like a few pictures i can like a few of your pictures whatever but anyways until next time see ya Eat them from temptation, make them royalty All the things we face and make us question it Lead us to salvation, pour that oil please That's how we become kings and queens